Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Major Floyd 212, and I'm with Sally. What's up, Sally? What's up? All right, so our first story is the Captain Marvel film. Now, originally, she was wearing the green outfit. I guess that, that's how it started in the comics, and then she changes the outfit. Let me give you a quick screen share of what her outfit's supposed to be. There she is. Very nice. Um, they're saying that the movie is going to be funny. Hmm. So now, this is interesting. Um, so let's see what the story says. Screenwriter Geneva Robertson Devorit says that this first female-led Marvel movie would be more of an action comedy than you expect. Speaking to Entertainment Weekly, uh, Robertson Dorvet talked about her work on this month's Tomb Raider reboot and compared it to Captain Marvel, which she recently wrote, and which she goes into a full production shortly with Brie Larson in the role. She revealed that with, while Tomb Raider started out as a comedic origin story, which got more serious and dramatic as subsequent drafts came in, Captain Marvel was going the opposite direction and is going to be more funny, more and more funny. Captain Marvel has a very funny voice, uh, and it's more of an action comedy, more like what we're talking about doing in the first draft of Tomb Raider. And that tone survived in Captain Marvel. I love funny female characters. So as Tomb Raider got more serious, I got more committed to the idea of Captain Marvel being hilarious. Carol Danvers is one of the funniest comic book characters. She's so sassy. She's a, such a smart ass. She don't take shit from anyone. And the comic books do an amazing job of capturing that voice. And it is important that the entire Captain Marvel creative team kept to that. So, so certainly we're, we were writing after Wonder Woman had come out. We already saw one example of what a superheroine would look like on the screen. Hold on. One second. My computer just went. Uh-oh. Bug out. Okay. So basically, that's what's happening. Uh, she's going to make it funnier. Um, and I, you know what? We'll see. I know Thor Ragnarok got funny. I thought it was way too funny sometimes. Like, it just got too much of a joke. So I'm a little worried about that. But you know what? We'll see how this does. What do you think? I, you know, you know, I don't know very much about Captain Marvel, so I don't know if she's supposed to actually be funny. Or... Right. I don't know. If it, I mean, I wasn't thinking they were going to make it a comedy, but we'll see. So, all right. So now, besides that, we had reported last week about Magnum P.I. Uh, uh, reboot or whatever it is that Originally, Magnum P.I. was going to be played by the daughter, and it was going to be a woman. They scrapped that whole thing because they're like, no, Magnum P.I. cannot be a woman, but we'll make Higgins a woman, which is his boss. Um, so, hold on a second. All right. Back in business. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you. Uh, Perita Weeks is Higgins in Magnum P.I. She is going to be, like, originally it was played, it was a, a man in the role, and now she's going to have it. Uh, they wanted to do something a little differently. So there she is. Um, again, I, I mean, I don't, I guess it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm used to the original, but at least Magnum P.I. himself is not, Thomas Magnum is not a female, you know, like they're going to make her like the daughter, you know? So I'm yeah, glad, glad they're not doing that. Yeah, I'm glad they're not doing that either. So, um, now someone said that they're doing two Magnum PIs. I don't think that's the oh. case. I think the other one is canceled. Um, so that's what we have for now. We'll see. It could be good. You know. Yeah. So how are you doing with the weather over there? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Power went out last night, but yeah, we it was a massive um, storm over here. So I just traveled through it, and it was like a mess. So I got home finally. All right. So let's see what else we have here. What other news? 
finally got to see Black Panther. Oh, tell us about it. It was good. I liked it. Cool, man. I really, it's one of my faves, you know. I like it a lot. Okay, so Stranger Things 3 adds. Let's see what we have here. There's a new series. Oh, Maya Hawk has joined the cast of Netflix Stranger Things. She will play the new series regular role of Robin. Robin is described as an alternative girl who is equally equal parts sharp and playful, bored with her mundane job. She just wants a little excitement in her life. And she gets more than she bargained for. She, inco she uncovers a dark secret in Hawkins. Um, also, Priya Ferguson, who stole the role in last season as Lucas uh, Slurp, loving precious sister Erica Sinclair, has been officially named as a reoccurring star in the new season. So her role is going to be expanded. So that's cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, This was supposed to be an unexpected. Hold on a second. Uh, it's supposed to be an unexpected new threat, they said, and it's supposed to begin production in 2019 early. So there we go with that. Uh, box office numbers quickly. And again, guys, I do apologize. I'm having problems with because of the storm with the internet zapping in and out. So that's why, you know, stuff's going on here. We are in a, a big storm here. So, okay. So, Black Panther's at $770 million as of March 1st. Wow. I hope it gets a billion. I'm pretty sure it's going to get a billion. Um, let me see what else we could see here. Where is Jumanji? Jumanji is number seven. Okay. And Jumanji is at still 922. All right. Just about done. All right, we're gonna get out of here for now because I want to. I'm not. I'm worried about the storm with this stuff here. So we'll try to be back in a little while. Take care. Bye for now.